Good beer just looks different. Ooh, that is nice. <sighs> My job here is done. What is up everyone and welcome to 10 Minute Tasting, where I take 10 minutes out of my day and tell you about a beer that I'm really excited about. Today we are featuring a beer from a brewery we featured many times here on this segment and it is none other than Beachwood Brewing Company, one of my favorite breweries of all time. Uh, and in my opinion, you know, if someone's asking me, what's the best brewery in Los Angeles? Beachwood is always a part of that conversation. So I don't know about you guys. So drop a comment, let me know what's, what's in the top three of your favorite breweries. I guarantee you 99% of you are gonna put Beachwood in there. They're just so damn good. So I'm super stoked to crack into this beer. Uh, I don't know a ton about it. So um, before I crack it open, let's look on the label. Let's see what's going on there and see if we can learn a little bit more about what we're about to consume. So, like I said, Cosmic Lottery, West Coast IPA, Beachwood Brewing Company, hooray for a universally winning hop combo of Strata, Mosaic, Citra, and Pato. I'm down, I'm ready to go. That sounds about right to me. So let's crack it open, see what's inside this can. It's wonderfully clear. Good beer just looks different sometimes. Like you can tell how good a beer is gonna be sometimes or how not good it's gonna be just based upon what it looks like when you're pouring it out. Uh, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. You, this is what you want your West Coast IPA to look like. Just a really nice bright mid-tone gold, fluffy white head, crystal clear. And a really nice West Coast IPA aroma, um, really delicious blend of a little bit of that citrus, a little bit of kind of tropical fruit. I'm getting little pineapple, tangerine, almost like kind of like kiwi tropical. And then there's, there's a little bit of dankness. Mm, wonderful aroma on this beer. I don't know, should I should I drink it? I guess uh, I guess it's time to take a sip. Cheers. Ooh, that is nice. So I feel like this has a lightness and brightness to it that is extremely welcomed in this situation being Friday afternoon. I'm deep in the valley. It feels like it's 90. It's probably not 90, but I, I had to bust the fan out for the first time this year. This is hitting me right in the perfect way. Yeah, just a really nice um, overall balanced taste. You get uh, a good amount of that citrus. I, I feel like orange stands out uh, really well here, but there is a, a moderate amount of lemon lime in this as well. And then that, that fruitiness is, is, I think was more present on the nose than on the taste. Um, it's not overly like, you know, I was getting tropical fruit on the nose. I'm not getting a ton of that on this, um, which I'm down for, you know, sometimes dial back that, that fruit component on a West coast IPA, uh, let the citrus shine, let that, that little bit of dankness shine, kind of that, that cannabis resiny dankness, which is really cool on this as well. And it's all wrapped up with like a, a mouthfeel that is smooth and light. The body is just, it doesn't saturate your tongue. It's not kind of overwhelming the palate. It's, this is not what I would call an aggressive IPA. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like this is like really well made for like early afternoon for first beer of the day. Hell, this could go all night long. You could start with this beer uh, and end with this beer as well. It's a really, really good one. If Beachwood was putting out the same type of West Coast IPA over and over, I mean, how many West Coast IPAs are they putting out each month? Uh, it's it's at least several new beers every month. And if they were all in that same vein, I mean, you get a little bit bored, I think. So 
I love the fact that they're like, hey, here's another 7.1% West Coast IPA. Uh, this one also has Mosaic and Strata and like some of the hops that maybe we've used in other beers in the past, but you open it up and it's just, it's another look. It's another, it's another really refreshing take on the style um, as Beachwood, I think, continues to deliver hit after hit after hit uh, but still kind of um, experiment a little and kind of, you know, color outside the lines every now and again to try and see what new uh, flavors, aromas, and, and other types of results that they can achieve uh, through, you know, mixing in different process and ingredients. So love it. It's keeping me interested. I don't know how much more there is to say about it other than it's awesome. I really like it a lot. This is going to be one that you want to get out and grab. It's really good. Ah, my job here is done. And thanks to all you guys for tuning in once again. It's been great to see you. Cheers.